Things don't change, we change. Grab the moment, be the change. Do something good today and if it yourself will thank you for belief, persist, succeed. Good morning. Today's assembly is led by class 9th and I am Avanti. No morning is perfect in the absence of a prayer. So I invite Sri Lakshmi to help us connect with God with a hymn. Ullilum poovilum poovin ullilum mannilum tharapadangalilum unmaya nanmaya porulai urjama ninnu thudikkum chaidanyame nin tiriyallu prakashamai nangale ennum vilichunartunnu my friend sana and aditya would love to share some thoughts on the protection of the environment the truth is the natural world is changing and we are totally dependent on that world it provides our food water and air it is the most precious thing we have and we need to defend it these are the words by david attenborough anything else you are interested in is not going to happen if you can't breathe the air or drink the water don't sit this one out do something these are the words of carl sagan plastics are a part of our lives nowadays so i invite katherine joffin to acknowledge us on the hurdles of the use of plastics a very pleasant morning everyone plastic is a word which we are very familiar with almost everything which we use for our primary needs contains plastic water bottle toothbrush comb and so on today i am here to speak a few facts about the bad effects of plastic plastic is non biodegradable due to its synthetic nature and when burned it emits poisonous gases like carbon monoxide and nitrous oxide hence it is highly toxic when consumed plastic is tremendously hazardous for all living animals and biosphere it is really sorrowful that there is no place left on the planet where there are no traces of plastic and now we are living in the era of destruction nobody cares about our nature so friends it's our responsibility to avoid plastic and conserve nature there are certain ways which will help us for this such as give up plastic bags skip straws pass out plastic bottles reduce reuse recycle and so on Though plastic is really useful for the modern civilization and provides us with various articles, it serves as a severe threat to our environment. So friends, let's say no to plastic. I'm concluding my words by saying this. Trash is for losers. Thank you and have a nice day. Now I welcome Aaron to soothe us with the melody. Sai once said we realize the importance of our voices only when we are silenced 
as it is Malala Day today, some of my classmates will perform a skit on children's rights. Let me welcome them. Hakim was an owner of a hotel. Hakim had a servant named Priya. Hakim was very rude to all his servants. Go back the food ordered for the marriage function. But master, there is no food left. Everything's over. And not any of us has ate the lunch. I don't care whether you idiots had your food or not. I don't want my customers to be angry on me. Go back the food. If we miss this order, you all will miss your jobs. But, sir. Just do as I said. After a few weeks, when Hakim was sitting in his hotel, a little girl came running. Sir, I am Priya's daughter, Sida. Where is your mother? I need her on time. But sir, my mother is sick. She is sighing. Please help me, sir. Go away, child. I am busy right now. Sir, Priya is no more. She was suffering from disease. Hey, go away. Let me see. Hakim went to Priya's house. Oh, Sida, what a crude luck. Don't worry that you are older now. Come. I'll give you a shelter. Though Hakim gave Sita a shelter and food, he made Sita do all the slavery. She was up in the late nights and no one was there to help her. Fast child, if you didn't finish these vessels by afternoon, master won't give you the meal. You only get to eat once in a day and if you can't eat that, you will die of starvation. It's my fate. If I stand against my master, he will throw me out here. If I'm here, at least once I will get the food. It was another busy afternoon. A very well-known businessman named Anand came to Hakim's hotel to have food. Anand saw Sita wrestling with vessels. Hey dear, why are you here in the kitchen? Usually in your age children are going to school. My father and my mother are dead and I am completely alone now. For the continuation of my life, I have to do slavery here. My master provides me shelter. I can't disobey him. Who is the cruel one? Who makes you do all this slavery? Mr. Hug. Hey Sita, don't waste your time by talking to someone. You have many vessels to clean and many clothes to wash. Hey mister, why are you so cruel to this child? She is really weak. Sir, she is just a little slack in my kitchen and as I give her food so that she is liable to do this work, sir. Please sit back and enjoy your meal. See that, I told you not to get off this kitchen, right? Excuse me, you don't have the right to accuse anyone. Sir, mind your own business. Oh, what? This is very cruel. Of course it is. Why do you care? Don't stick your nose into this. Get off! Child labor is illegal in our country. So? And for sure you will be punished. I will not accept to make this child to all this slavery. You are destroying your childhood by this. And watch out. I will complain with this. And for sure you will be inside the bars. Oh, please don't do that drastic thing to me. Sir, I have understood my fault. Sorry little one, I now understood that how many cruel and rude deeds I have done to you. Now onwards, I will treat you like my own child. Each child is the bright star of future. Now, let's feast our eyes on a graceful dance performance by Dia. <laughs>
we've come to the end of our morning assembly hope you liked it have a great day thank you